right, guys, I wanted to make a piece of about this build right here. I've been watching Salvage to Savage, uh, and I've been watching their build online, and uh, I'm pretty excited. It's a, it's a Tesla swap. And Holly's high voltage experience. So these guys use a Model 3 battery pack and the whole battery pack is tucked in there. So it's essentially a custom frame, right? That they just screwed the body into it. So I think this is my first Tesla build that I've seen where someone's using the Tesla 3 pack, right? And so that's pretty exciting. They're using full-size Tesla motors, right? Uh, the performance motors, one in front, so it is that one drives both of the rear wheels and then they have a modified Tesla motor in the front and what they did is they had to take that motor and split it in half so that they could it would fit inside the frame right there right so that's why they took the controller off of it and then put it rearranged it so they did this crazy light setup. Uh, they called it like infinity light or something like that. It's pretty cool. It's like a mirror with LEDs. Pretty cool. This is an electric brake, right? So uh, you see the only thing leaving from that brake is an actual, um, well, a cable. <laughs> And they're just using a switch from what it looks like. It's just a switch on off. So when you apply it, it add, would add region to the back motor so that the wheels would lock. And now you can start drifting, right? So you basically just have to lock them up. Um, that's the idea. I don't know. They haven't executed that yet. There's still kind of a work in progress. This whole thing is supposed to show like touchscreen. You're supposed to be able to set set up you know the engine the motor controller you know uh, parameters and stuff like that so yeah this is when this is all done i think it's gonna be pretty exciting and i don't know about the three pedals i'm gonna have to ask the three pedals so the three pedals the, the third pedal is a switch so when you when you push that in it deactivates the brake regen so basically it just coast instead of the oh Wait, but why did you put well, that in a wait, pedal? Wait, it gets worse. What, what? Why in a pedal though? Like, why instead of like a switch? I don't know why, because we had it. It's, it's the, meant for a map. So like, the, you can just give it to a little signal to change to a little different map. So one, the one map has, you know, 10%, 20%, whatever I set it at. Uh -huh. And then you hit the, the pedal and it switches the map. So then it'll be at a full regen map. Then you can use the brake. Ah, the okay. Hammer. So it's not like you're just supposed to click it and then it. now yeah, you're, oh, okay, okay. It. Momentary That's pedal, it. Yep. okay, input. Oh, that makes sense, why not? We had the pedal box, so we might as well use it for something, right? Yeah, and it's right there at your feet. You could just do it quickly, boom, yeah, you're. The, you know, touching a button or hitting Yeah, the button. yeah. Okay, that works. It, it just, just looks weird there. when you're like. It was just something to put there. We were like scratching our heads, going like three that pedals. That was the most asked question at SEMA. Yeah. yeah. Well, Everybody wanted to know why you got three pedals. Well, what, you got two clutches? What's <laughs> going on here? <laughs> so here's another interesting thing that I see the the front axle goes right through this in line with the suspension here. So you see that? They have to make that thing right there. <laughs> That's interesting. Um, yeah, this is this is a lot of engineering that's happening here in the front end. <laughs> ah, there you go. So we'll see how this behaves. 
Oops. Yeah, look at that. They have to build that same thing. And as you can see here, it's already rubbing there. Um, I don't know how you fix that. I mean, this is a, these are the problems that you're running when you're doing all-wheel drive and systems like this, right? I always wonder. Uh, I hear you're going to drive it. You can drive it? Oh, yeah. yes. 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 You have to break it. Yeah. Break it? Why would you, why would you assume? <laughs> it's so violent. Like that. No, 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 no. That's very accusatory of me. No, 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 no. I'm Take saying you're gonna put you're gonna push it to his limits. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to. Well, whatever limits are, are you know. Whatever limits we let him. Yeah. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. It's like, it's like ten kilowatts. He's, he has a, a switch over here. Like, yeah. turn yeah. it down. The kill the car. Oh, Dial it down. It's kind of ballet mode. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> <Get off. laughs> wow. You sit low in this thing, huh? I love yeah. it. Yeah. A little jerky. I don't usually let other men drive my vehicles, but when I do, it's rich. I appreciate that, man. Dude, this thing is, dude, this thing has a, I don't care where, this thing has a, this is a ton of power. You could yeah. tell. This thing yeah, just wants to just light up the wheels it, and just go. It was fun. My goodness, man. Okay. Gucci. <laughs> I don't need power steering in this thing. So yeah, the suspension is, is oh, geez, zero. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Not so much it's travel very either. bouncy. Um, so that's. It's, it's a drift truck. I still drive the out of this thing. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's a smile. I smile. <laughs> oh yeah. Dude, this is fun, man. How could you not love this? I love it. Hey guys, I'm off. Nice meeting you guys. Yeah. Nice meeting you. We'll see you in uh, Florida. One day. All right.